Vitamin B2 or riboflavin is one of the 8 B vitamins that are essential for human health. It can be found in grains, plants and dairy products. It is crucial for breaking down food components, absorbing other nutrients and maintaining tissues. Vitamin B2 is a water-soluble vitamin, so it dissolves in water. All vitamins are either water-soluble or fat-soluble. Water-soluble vitamins are carried through the bloodstream and whatever is not needed passes out of the body in urine. People need to consume vitamin B2 every day because the body can only store small amounts and supplies go down rapidly. Riboflavin occurs naturally in some foods added to others and it can be taken as supplements. Most of it is absorbed in the small intestine. Roll. Cruciferous vegetables are a source of vitamin B2, but steam them rather than boiling them. Vitamin B2 helps break down proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. It plays a vital role in maintaining the body's energy supply. Riboflavin helps convert carbohydrates into adenosine triphosphate. ATP. The human body produces ATP from food and ATP produces energy as the body requires it. The compound ATP is vital for storing energy in muscles. Along with vitamin A, vitamin B is essential for maintaining the mucous membrane in the digestive system, maintaining a healthy liver, converting tryptophan into niacin and amino acid, keeping the eyes, nerves, muscles and skin healthy absorbing and activating iron, folic acid, and vitamin B1, B3, and B6. Hormone production by adrenal glands, preventing the development of cataracts. Fetal development, especially in areas where vitamin deficiency is common. Some research suggests that vitamin B2 may help prevent cataracts and migraine headache, but further studies are needed to confirm this. Other studies have found that in children with autism, supplements of vitamin B2, B6, and magnesium appears to reduce the levels of abnormal organic acid in the urine. Sources Vitamin B2 comes from food. Sources of B2 includes meat, fish, and dairy products provide vitamin B2. Fish, meat, poultry such as turkey, chicken, beef, kidneys, and liver. Eggs, dairy products asparagus, artichokes, avocados, cayenne, corants, fortified cereals, kelp, lima beans, navy beans and peas, molasses, mushrooms, nuts, parsley, pumpkins, roast chips, sage, sweet potatoes, cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, brussels sprouts, spinach, dandelion greens and watercress, whole grain breads, enriched breads and wheat bran, yeast extract, Vitamin B2 is water-soluble, so cooking foods can cause it to be lost. About twice as much B2 is lost through boiling as it is through steaming or microwaving. How much do we need? According to Oregon State University, the recommended daily allowance around the A of vitamin B2 for men aged 19 years and over is 1.3 mg per day, and for women, it is 1.1 mg per day. During pregnancy, women should have 1.4 mg per day and when breastfeeding, 1.6 mg per day. Deficiency Vitamin B2 deficiency is a significant risk when diet is poor because the human body excretes the vitamin continuously, so it is not stored. A person who has a B2 deficiency normally lacks other vitamins too. There are two types of riboflavin deficiency. Primary riboflavin deficiency happens when the person's diet is poor in vitamin B2. Secondary riboflavin deficiency happens for another reason, maybe because the intestines cannot absorb the vitamin properly, or the body cannot use it, or because it is being excreted too rapidly. Riboflavin deficiency is also known as ariboflavinosis. Signs and symptoms of deficiency include a lack of vitamin B2 can lead to mouth ulcers and other complaints. Angular chelitis or cracks at the corners of the mouth, cracked lips, dry skin, inflammation of the lining of the mouth, inflammation of the tongue, mouth ulcers, red lips, sore throats, scrotal dermatitis, 
fluid in the mucous membranes, iron deficiency anemia, eyes may be sensitive to bright lights, and they may be itchy, watery, or bloodshot. People who drink excessive amount of alcohol are at greater risk of vitamin B deficiency. Risks Normally, vitamin B2 is considered safe. An overdose is unlikely as the body can absorb up to around 27 mg of riboflavin and it expels any additional amounts in the urine. However, it is important to talk to a physician before taking any supplements, especially as this can interfere with other medications. Supplements can interact with other medications and B2 supplements may impact the effectiveness of some drugs, such as anticholinergic medications and tetracycline. Sometimes a doctor may recommend supplementation, for example, if a patient is using a drug that can interfere with the absorption of riboflavin. Drugs that may interfere with riboflavin levels in the body includes tricyclic antidepressants such as imipramine and trophanil. Some antipsychotic drugs such as clopromazine or torazine. Methotrexate used for cancer and autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. Phenytoin or dilatin used to control seizures. Probenicid for gout, thiazide diuretics or water pills. Doxorubicin, a drug used in cancer therapy, may deplete levels of riboflavin and riboflavin may affect how doxorubicin works. The University of Maryland Medical Center, UMM, notes that very high amounts of vitamin B2 may lead to itching, numbness, burning or prickling, yellow or orange urine and sensitivity to light. To prevent an imbalance of B vitamins, they suggest using a B complex vitamin if supplementation is needed. Hi, thanks for watching to the end. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you like this video and you would like to see more contents like this, kindly like, share, leave a comment in the comment section and also please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching to the end. Have a nice day and look out for the next video.